things I, I, I wanted to close with was, um, you know, I remember building my house a couple years back. I've had the experience of building a new home and the experience of buying an existing home. Um, and from that experience, it, it's interesting that I found myself when buying an existing home, already having that kind of giving it that grace where I say, well, I know there's gonna be a lot of flaws, right? Like there's gonna be a lot of things in here that are not perfect, yeah. and I'm gonna to have to do this, I'm gonna to have to do this, and it was just kind of, the level of expectation was a lot lower. And then I think naturally you might find yourself when you're building a home um, to expect perfection. And that, oh, okay, well, when I move into the house, like everything should be 100% square, perfect, um, never a crack, never this, never missing that. Uh, when I when I didn't do that with the existing home um, that I purchased, and well, and everything should be square <laughs> and should. true, that's for sure. Absolutely. But they're definitely. But what about the settling cracks well, or things? Well, you know, it's it's happen? definitely a product uh -huh. that's uh, you know made of wood, which is imperfect. Materials are imperfect. It's made by people who are imperfect. Mm -hmm. It's a great process. Right. I mean, building modular versus building on site. The quality control is light and day. Mm -hmm. And we've got factory tours, I've got uh, online videos of, of factory tours. You know, the oversight through the assembly line construction mm -hmm. phase in the factory is night and day compared to what the oversight you would have on site. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, the crews that are, we've got shops at uh, uh, manufacturing facilities that are unionized. And uh, you know, these are career people uh, at the shop, you know, career carpenters. You know, doing their trade, and um, you know that's great, consistent quality. But yes, it's made by people, and people make mistakes. And uh, and so you, you're right. Some people, you know, come into a new build um, with the expectation of um, you know, perfection, and mm -hmm. and that's if you have that expectation, you're going to be let down for sure because it's it's still just a product made by people. There will be settling cracks, not okay. as many as an on-site build. Mm -hmm. You know, typically the the structure has to go through four seasons of humidity and, and expansion and contraction, mm -hmm. freeze and thaw, and that kind of thing, um, for all the cracks to, to work their way out. So we'll come back a year, you know, within a year after move okay. in, and we'll fix all of those cosmetic and they're and they're cosmetic, sure, all these cosmetic sure. issues. So you you have a sort of a checklist, a timeline afterwards that you're still working those with are the for, client. Correct. Yeah, those mm -hmm. are for cosmetic issues. Now, okay. you know, a lot of times you'll move in and and uh, there'll be things that uh, are more important than you know just a crack that can you know that that uh, would wait for you know for a year typically until we fix it. Mm -hmm. And those service issues, you know, we'll come back on our 30-day checkup. You know, and then our 90-day checkup. Okay. And if it's an emergency, we'll come back right away. Uh, of right. course, there's no problem with that. Um, but yeah, I think being realistic with that, with with your expectations of the final uh, product, is is helpful as well. Okay. Yeah. Great.